Hey everybody, just how much am I in the doghouse after our trip to um, the Merklin Shop and Museum? Find out after the credits. Hey everybody, Anthony Dodge, the model train outfits of the Merklin Outsider here with my wife Joyce making a special appearance because today we went to the Miracleen AM, the layout, the shop. They did not let visitors into the factory area or the one end today. For some reason, it was closed down. So we didn't get to go see the big locomotive in the Miracleen box today. But otherwise, we, uh, we saw everything in there that we could see, including the shop. Um, what'd you think of it? What do you think of the place? I really like the layout. I thought the layout was really, really good in the basement, and they had a screen in the back, and you know, the channel kind of has different views on it. And so, yeah, it was a really, really cool layout. It's very big, and uh, just the layout alone, I think, was worth the price of admission. There were, um, they had the one big scenic, like day. Mm -hmm. night weather aspect which was very cool they also had a weather effect a water effect similar to right. what we saw in miniature wonderland but mm -hmm. clearly not the same level i although i do wonder if miniature wonderland took the idea of what they did with their water and said can we up it yeah. now um just yeah, the out of the blue you you and i both had one little complaint now there's five levels of this place it's amazing but specifically about the layout if there was one little complaint, I think we both had it. Right. And, yeah, that was that it, it went through a day very fast, and it just, it, done, it would well, get to a night, and it's like, oh, you know, it's like every five minutes. Yeah, they, they really went through, like, every lot. five mm -hmm. minutes or ten minutes was a full day, and they, including a night time, but the night time lasted way too long. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of cool to see everything light up. Yeah, but, it's great to see the lights. But like, it's it hard was, to take pictures. You know, with mir so. with um, Miniature Wonderland, I think it's every 10 minutes or 15 minutes, they do night for five minutes. And mm -hmm. this was pretty much well, every five minutes. To be honest, I think minutes. New Laws is too often, too. But this is a lot more often. So a yeah, lot longer. and longer. That's yeah. longer. So, but otherwise, um, yeah, very, very cool, cool layout. Mm -hmm. Lots going on. Um, no push button activities. Right. There was oh, no, yeah. no it's all like very Miniature Wonderland has. Um, it's it's just watching, but it it's, was, it's it's really still, sharp. It's very it's, cool. Yeah, it, it, it's very cool. You can see all the black protection in it and the switches automatically going up. And now, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, before we get into the video, which is what this is going to be, it's probably going to be a long video because I'm going to show you everything we um, that I videotaped. Um, even parts I should edit out, but I want to get this up today. Uh, there's only, we did go into the shop mm -hmm. as well, because you have the museum, well, which is three levels. You have, the lay, you have the layout, which is, <laughs> the layout itself is on one level, but mm -hmm. the second floor of the building is so you can see the layout from above. Mm -hmm. And then the third, fourth, and fifth floor are the Miracleen Museum of, and history of its toys and trains. And there was just so much there. I may mm -hmm. just put that in a separate video and do layout one mm -hmm. video and then the museum in a separate video because right. otherwise this could be a two hour video which right. very few people would watch. Right. But, so let's get to the big question. Uh, are we still friends? Yes, we are still friends. The truth is, I bought, well, this. And I was even going to buy this choice and get yourself a shirt. Yeah. And, um, but there, I really bought yeah. nothing in the shop. Oh, you got so. It, the only disappointment or, I mean, my disappointment, your yay, I think, is uh, the shop had nothing I was looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a couple of cool things, but I was hoping maybe there's some things I didn't buy a couple of years ago that they would have had on, in yeah, stock there. He and kept so, checking. He get a model shop and, lip and compare. I was like, going. I got 15 euros cheaper. Yeah, yeah. The lip has still got this, and I can get for 15 euros if I wanted. Mm -hmm. So uh, all I wound up buying was a. Uh, besides the shirt, yeah. Yeah, besides the shirt, I got a little Ludwig the Second. Now, many people in the world call him Ludwig the Crazy right. or Ludwig the Insane. Don't say that. Don't ever do that in Bavaria. Bavaria you'll yeah. you'll make enemies real fast. Yep. Uh, he's very beloved. And actually, in, uh -huh. despite his reputation of being a little off the wall, the fact is, 
uh, he maybe might have been one of the most far seen because he was building all these things which bankrupted his family, not even the government. Some history books will say he bankrupted the government of Bavaria building all his fantasy castles. He didn't. He bankrupted his family. But since those castles and homes have gone to public display, he's made Germany and Bavaria billions mm -hmm. of dollars. Yeah, Neuschwanstein alone. Neuschwanstein yeah. alone, the second most visited mm -hmm. place in Germany. And then I just bought some modern figures to stick around my layout as we go. Um, and that is it, the shirt and these three mm -hmm. little packs of figures. Um, but uh, there's, there are, there's more model shops. To there's go. more model shops to go. <laughs> so, all right. So we're going to go ahead and let you see the video. And we'll just say um, now, at, before you watch the video, uh, hope you enjoy it. And so mm -hmm. from... The model train outside the American outsider. We're going to say Avida Zane and happy trains. Take care, Bye. everybody. All right, we have made it. <laughs> we had to walk through a bit of town, but uh, the Mark Lane. Right. I don't know if I'm doing this backwards, and you're going to get light reflecting here, but uh, we've decided to start our visit here with the layout. I mean, actually, we started in the shop, but we'll do more of that later. It says, touch me, go and see me. So it's saying, go ahead and touch and get a feel for how it changes from step to step. So, where do you start? <laughs> right, I'm going to go over in this corner and then just start coming around. Look at the roundhouse here and all the steamers in it. <laughs> Nighttime has fallen. Waiting for that icy E to go. <laughs> so much here. kinds of shunting action going on here. Oh, the guy's welding metal welding down here. Welding. Yeah, the one negative here is uh, the, the LEDs are at the same, basically same flicker rate as the camera, so we're getting flickering here where it's not flickering except for the You know, all the lights you're seeing that are flickering actually here are not flickering. Now I just dropped this from 60 frames per second to 30 and you can see the flickering has decreased quite a bit. So...
That is a massive cathedral back there. around do they Wait for night to end now. It's not recording a damn thing. So we got a little Alpine Park here. Or it's a playing area, I should say, not Alpine Park. going again for anybody watching this video um, I'm filming at 60 frames per second and the LEDs are flickering I did go down for the night views to 30 and that cut some of the flickering out but say in this section we have not seen a lot of train front there are some concerns but a lot of them are parked and there doesn't seem to be any activation buttons You see a little dragon in the cave here? Yeah. But again, I just, no matter what you show, somebody will say, wait, I wanted to see this, I wanted to see that. Your balloons on the screen.
<laughs> bears on the other side of the fence here. You know, viewers on one side, bears on the other. Wildlife preserve. Yeah, yeah, this doesn't look familiar at all, does it? Lots of trees and little paths through. That's what we just spent four days doing. The water effects are pretty good. That looks very wet. Just have different trains starting up at different times, so yeah. vineyards, which you see everywhere in this region, all the way down to Freiburg and up both sides into Stuttgart, and then even where we're at a neighbor's bot, a lot of grapes grown. But there really is, uh, it's clearly a big layout now. It's <laughs> one fiftieth the size of, uh, of Miniature Wonderland, but it's very cool. It's all American, it's all American C track, it looks like, although some of that might be K track. Yeah, the sun is starting to set. Oh, here comes another guy. See if we can catch both trains going the upper and the lower. They definitely seem to run trains by era. Well, let's see if we can catch that guy up in the middle. Yeah, it's gonna turn night again. As the lights go on. Now I turn my flash on hoping it might help with the flicker. But once it goes night, I'll just turn it off. There go the lights on.
did a low park and came back. Farmer's working late tonight. Here's one that would be cool to see in motion. Okay, so you can't have a layout without a little fair or festival going. The one thing I would love to see is um, push button effects. Yeah. Apparently this one's not going to end well. give them credit. They really, really did a nice job of layering from inch to inch, spot to spot. This really does give a flow. It really does. You got a quarry. Oh, there you go. 
Okay, let's go down and catch this guy. It's working slow. The other guy passed because they have a nail in here. So this is definitely a K track here. This is very cool. That's cool. Even the tunnel all the way back there. And I am pausing this so I can really check it out. Oh, here's a great one. I was waiting for this one to go into motion. Oh, that's sharp. Get right in close to. Oh, isn't that a beauty? That's a classy train all the way through. And we're gonna catch the two guys. Oh, we're having a rainy day now. Yep, there comes the rain. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see it on the screen, but yep, thunderstorms now. These poor workers got to work in the rain. That. I don't know why that just hits me as cool. Mm -hmm. The whole viaduct uh, sort of looking there. I think he's about to go through it, so maybe I'll film it. What do you think of this place? That's oh, perfect. Oh, they put the other one into action. I was waiting for that one to go. Now they got them both going. Now here comes that Bavarian one, so apparently there's a turnaround in there. Oh, I thought that little train would be coming through the... Wait, here's a close-up of this guy again. He has to wait while this guy diverts around. So your good old-fashioned block detection, right? So your layout would look so much cooler if you did stuff like that. Did it go up? Yeah. I've been trying to catch a couple of the lights in action. I've caught a couple, but not enough. But you know, I'm... Okay. All right, so just amazing, amazing, amazing. And we'll say, well, interesting. Come back over here, I did film this, but waiting for the sunlight to come up a bit more and we got a train coming through. Looks like the rail fanning from the bridge. This little guy checking on slowly again, waiting for somebody else to come through. I'll tell you what though, some people go, oh, that water's too clear. You haven't been in these Black Forest or Alpine lakes it can be 10 feet deep and you can see down to the bottom. It's very, very realistic in terms of the stories both figurines are telling, not too many. 
I don't know if this will be a cool shot or what. Do, 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 do. Try to do a drone effect shot. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, and if people are watching this video and want to see something, just pause. It's filmed in 4K, so even on a basic TV, you should still have a lot of clarity. Just pause and stare. A lot of people watch on their phones or tablets, and sometimes you just got to watch on your TV. Oh, it's getting dark again. And we're having fireworks. Okay, well, I'm going to wait for night to pass again and then I'll pick up with this. And one thing you gotta do is really just sometimes just watch the sky, which I did. The night sky is very cool. I didn't put it on video. I've shown you bits of it. I think he's on the wrong end of the car. Looks like Gandalf and Frodo have appeared. I got that guy for Christmas. Oh, somebody got knocked over. Eighteen fifty nine Mercury, that's when the company was founded. We have Thor. And more vineyards. Hey Joyce, did you see Thor? she did because you are eagle-eyed like that I'm glad I caught him because otherwise she was said did you see the thorn I would have been no she's like I missed something and 
trained this week to go into action here. Every angle. Every angle. Oh, and I didn't even go here to show the mine. And, uh, hidden color. You gotta know the secret passageway. Oh, they even put a big snake in here. That's an O1, very common. Nice rake of cars with it. You know, it's very hard when you're trying to uh, promote your products. You can't really pick one era, but some things will clearly be out of sync with others. So you really have to judge it by small increments. That guy's been getting a lot of running today. Just try to give perspective from all angles. All right, we're coming to the last real section here. Pretty impressive layout. I'd like to have seen more trains running, but it is what it is. that little shunter guy. He's been all over the layout. So they created a little zoo here. They got a, I'm assuming an aviary. <laughs> Lion's den. <laughs> with actual beef carcass up there. Polar bears. Seals. But I'm assuming it might be a tropical botanical garden. Penguins, another sort of Africa. We got zebras and camels over there. So basically a rather nice representation of a zoo here. And we got a school up here. Just an impressive all-around layout. I could catch a train coming through here. Here we go.
so you go up a floor and then they give you sort of a above view so i'll film a little bit of this this uh while it's at night you can see the night sky there so pretty cool i was still getting all the flickering which again you don't see the flickering in real life except for a couple of places where there are lights that flicker like that one actually flickers Okay, so now it is morning and you just get this overhead view one more time from up above. Now, honestly, I think it's a little smaller than I expected it to be, but it's it's very cool mm -hmm. and it's jam packed. Yeah, it's it's good size. I guess for some reason my head thought it would be slightly longer and bigger based on what I watched them build in, but they didn't have everything closed in, so it made it feel bigger. It's big. Yeah.